Okay, I got the gate. I got the gate rolling right now, so I'm rolling out, David. And uh, we might check it out, man. How far you will kicking out, and how far you will sounding. Billy, spaceman, got the gate rolling. Cool deal, man. Yeah, my goodness. Uh, try to find out the uh, the way out here, man. Uh, yeah, it should be right up there on your left at the end of where all the trucks are at. Like, you know, pull up in front of the fuel islands and, you know, to the left. Go to the left of the fuel islands when you get to them, the exit should be right there. Yeah. But then the pluckers pluck up, uh, park all over the place right here, man. There's no freaking way to get out of here. Ah, uh, well, I guess you go around the backside, <laughs> unless you're already up in there. Damn it. Yeah, we got FedEx truck, uh, UPS truck blocking the way, so another dude is trying to get in, man. It's kind of, <laughs> my goodness. Yeah, well, doubles is kind of hard to back into a spot, you know, unless they find where they can pull straight through, so, yeah, I get that. I used to I pull doubles like the first 15 years that I started driving, running to L.A. all the time, making and breaking, and man, I'm glad I got me a single trailer now. That's all there is to it, you know? Yeah, I'm going to have to go through this and uh, adjust all the parameters for all the alarms and alerts and everything on the, um, the radio itself, you know what I mean? Wow, the radio is only doing like 130. Ooh, 30. What the heck is going on here? Yeah, there was a truck coming through the uh, wrong entrance, man. He was uh, going down facing the fuel islands. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I was standing on by, man. I had to deal with all that stuff, man. Well, it is getting that time. It's like uh, well, almost 1 o'clock out here, so, yeah. Anybody looking for a place to park? Yeah, you're sounding quieter right about now. What did you do? Nothing, that's what I'm saying. This thing's, I don't know what its problem is. It should be putting out a whole lot more than what it is. Well, you were sounding louder before, so I don't know what you did, uh, Billy. Uh, you will hear that. Well, maybe you were just too close before, and now uh, you're a little bit further apart from each other. Maybe, maybe I need to turn up a little bit. Uh, is that is that too loud right there? Do it modulated? 
No, it's undermodulated. I got a good signal on you, but it's undermodulated. Have you touched your mic gain? No, right now it's up to about uh, about one o'clock, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Turn the mic gain up a little bit more. That's about two o'clock. Is that too much? Yeah, that's too much. I will leave it around one o'clock, but bring it down to eleven thirty so that way you can see the difference. Yeah, it's just, even even the amp itself right now. Now right now the it's amp, amp's working a little bit better than what it was, but the meter moving on the radio there, there's there's an issue with this radio. I got a feeling that's what it is. Okay, set your mic gain around uh, eleven thirty, uh, modulate, and then around one o'clock, so the way you can hear the difference on the gate. All right, that's about eleven o'clock right there. And that's about one o'clock right there. Yeah, I would guess eleven thirty, twelve, somewhere around uh, between eleven thirty and one o'clock. I would leave it and do not go further than that. Yeah, and the radio is doing about two forty-five, and uh, and the uh, final I'm doing about uh, seventeen hundred, somewhere around there. Yeah, just leave the radio itself, and then when the signal is going to be weaker, just uh, kick on the the amplifier, so that way we can see the difference. Yeah, I don't. Know. Yeah, I just, you know what? I had one of these 98 PHPs before. I really did not like it, and you know what? I'm starting to not like it again. I just need to get out there to Phoenix and get my other radio back and get it hooked back up, and then I'll be happy. I think. Yeah, but the problem is your butthole smells like cheese. Hey, did your dick touch your asshole? Yes, it does. It's that big. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. And I won't finish your 24 pill. How about them apples? My goodness, I thought I heard BBI. Holy smokes, man. <laughs> Good evening, time to you, landlord, spaceman, right there, right now, and I got down. Jesus Christ. Good God of my, really? Nice radio check. Thank you, Luke. I've been sitting here recording you now, guys, for a couple... Oh, and the computer just shut down. Son of a bitch, I'm pointing the wrong direction here. I'm sitting here listening to you guys talk back and forth now for like 10 minutes. Well, BBI, let me tell you something, man. Come, big guy. I got the gate rolling. It's the first gate I'm doing out of uh, your radio, man. From my radio to your radio. Hello, BBI. That's the first time we're putting that hammer around you, <laughs> around the neck of woods. I got the gate rolling, BBI. Good evening time. Would you at least turn on the 24 pill so we can hear you? Well, brother, I don't know if I can. Let me see if that's going to make any difference. How about now, BBI break? Oh, Jesus. That's two S units to nine S units. And my computer just shut down right in the middle of this gate. Hold on a second. Wow, this is some really cool local talking here, man. Yeah, David, uh, you still got a sloppy copy on the barefoot radio, the break. Oh, I still got you. Boy, I'll tell you what, Luke sure got me off guard on that one. Boy, you sounded like he was right here in the truck stop with us. Yeah, really, that's just a barefoot radio, man. Oh, I can hear your guys' barefoot radio. Can you hear me on the driver? Yeah, I got you 9 dB, ma'am. And what does that do to it? Yeah, I don't know, man. That driver is working. And I just had a awesome dinner with David. David, appreciate the catch-up, ma'am. It was pretty cool to catch you up. And I haven't even thought we got conditions, ma'am, BBI. 
You sounds like you're sitting right, right next to me. Dear Lord, have mercy. <laughs> hey, David, I'm over here around Walmart. The breaker, breaker. It's like seven S units to skip. I'm like, what the shit? Now, please, I have had Mother Nature with Colorado all day long. I've heard Georgia, Florida, New York, California, New Mexico, Arizona, but the only place I've been able to talk all day has been Colorado. <laughs> man, I'm telling you what. I turned the volume up and I'm like, well, that's David. I thought, man, I wonder if he's talking to Alex. Sure enough. Here, can you turn your mic gain up a little bit more? Turn the mic gain this way. Turn the mic gain that way. <laughs> oh, I haven't even thought we'll get the uh, conditions, man. Oh, yeah, you're right, BBI, man. I haven't heard you around Nebraska, man. Sounds like you didn't get that further down than as Colorado. Well, man, pleasure talking to you, BBI, man. I'll catch you up in a few days. And uh, it's kind of grateful we got Mother Nature, no doubt about that. Dude, step on the goddamn foot pedal. Yeah, how about now, man? That's just uh, the radio driving into 24 field, man. I ain't see a lot of swing, BBI. I'm not quite sure if I uh, would be able to do a little bit more in your radio, but there you go. I told you before it was a difference between 2S units and 20. Just by, st just by hitting the 24. Yeah, Ted Roger, I hope you got the gate rolling, man. <laughs> I would like to see myself the way I'm sounding, man. But I got the gate rolling, too. Hey, BBI, man, you should be able to listen yourself, no doubt about that. Now, what, are you working on something, BBI, or are you just hanging in the shack and doing a thing? I'm standing out here working on some Mud Ducks 4 pill that he ordered today. Some bitch. <sighs> What, David leave this conversation, or is he just sitting over there jerking his putt? Nah, man, I'm just, uh, I'm just sitting here listening to y'all and just, uh, trying to get some video going myself. I don't know if I'll post it or not, because my camera don't want to post that long of a video, because I haven't figured it out yet. No, nah, man, I'm, I'm... Same heavy birthday. I'm still sitting here. I'm done for the night. I'm parked. He must be talking barefoot. No. Nah. We're, we're doing about, we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. Huh, okay. Well, the gate cut off on the very first beginning of the portion of the conversation. I was pointed directly over the top of the shack and overloaded the computer. So I thought I was pointed at Denver, it really wasn't, so I'm a little further south. But now I got to get to you guys, I'm sitting here listening to you. I'm just shocked I'm sitting here listening to you guys barefoot talking in the truck stop. That's hilarious to me. Yeah, it's like uh, the other day I talked to 1212 in a collie, man, out of Boise to Los Angeles on the Barefoot Radio, man. Mother Nature is being grateful, no doubt about that. Here, man, like your radio got a nasty swing to it. Wow, nice. Yeah, David, do you still get a sloppy copy, Brega? Oh, yeah, we definitely hear you good still. Three, swing at nine. Yeah, yeah, we got you. Yeah, no way in the world. Must be conditions, man. Hey, uh, David, I ain't got a lot of swing. We must have conditions. Yeah, I'm around here, around 3.55, uh, going up that Lincoln uh, overpass. <clears throat> You're still kicking that meter up in my radio, no doubt about that. Where are you playing your gate, Alex? Hey. Hey, look, I got it set on the individual gate. I'm kind of recording it individual, but I will load it up on YouTube later. Yeah, probably 10-9, man. It got quiet. Well, the only ones I hear out there is just you and Luke. Yeah, BBI kind of fell out. No, I stopped keying. I didn't want to get in between you and Alex. Or, uh, pardon me, you and David. Yeah, it's all good. It's Super Bowl, man. There's no uh, no mercy, man, on the key down. 
My God, what the point? <laughs> hey, BBI, I'm getting the point for them. Are you recording your gate or are you streaming it live to Facebook? I'm recording it. I'm doing individual gate. Look, I will load it up later on the YouTube. On the, the YouTube. Okay. On the, on, on to the YouTube. So you're going to try and make it over to Salt Lake tonight then, I take it? Yes, sir. I will hit Salt Lake sometime this uh, early morning and uh, I'll try to unload the way I can get over to you for then. Oh, damn. Just like what we talked about on the phone. So David's parked in his, uh, in his white truck, sitting in the parking lot, touching his chicken. And you're making money. I understand. Oh, no, I'm making money sitting here, trust me, man. I, California, the North Dakota, 9,300 bucks. I'm, I'm rolling on this one. That's not a bad haul. Them Russians pay good. Ukrainian. But, yeah, uh, yeah, good. Then I got uh, 3,500 back to, uh, that's great, it's back to uh, Las Vegas, or to uh, Reno. And I go home and get the stitches out. Make a folding in my bottom piece so I can get some bottom piece in my freaking mouth, damn clothes. Then you'd be able to eat a corn dog, 410? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's so funny, man. <laughs> Oh my goodness, hey VVI man, I, I heard that gate you made uh, with 1025 I believe, and that mobile is talking, I, I, I'm not joking. Exercise, David. If you can't hold your cell phone up at shoulder height for more than three minutes, you need to go to the gym, bro. Man, let me tell you what, I'm really sick with my teeth. I weigh 130 pounds right now. That's how I am in bone. This is not good. Last time you saw me lose, I weighed 185. I need to go on that diet, but I don't want to lose my teeth. <laughs> well, just go, just go get a couple of cases of sugar to live on a separate diet of sugar. And you know what? I'm fine, I'm good. I'm fine, I'm good. I'm fine, I'm good. right off. I'm not going to have a liquid diet. You're saying liquid diet is better than, like, uh, oh, what is it? Uh, it's uh, better than Atkins and better than South Beach, huh? Well, I'm working this way. Well, we don't want you turning into a fatty like me. Believe me, it, it's not worth it. No, I hit 200 pounds once in my life. I'm never one of that. Yeah, sounds like someone is trying to get in here. But they're way up in my noise floor, man. I heard someone test, 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 test. Hey, uh, David, you start fading out, and uh, all I got right now, you up on my noise floor, man, and maybe I still kicking that ass. Yeah. Dude, Alex, you're hitting me in three S units, swinging all the way up to about 12. That's crazy. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm on the elevation right now, man, around Cheyenne, Wyoming, man. I'm a, I, it's not the highest point. It still ain't at the highest point where I am, but uh, I have conditions, man. It's, uh, it's kind of insane, man. The channel is not jammed, and we're having a nice, easy QSO. Here in the Super Bowl, nobody says QSO. We ain't on the handbands, dude. We stand upright when we talk to each other. Dude, I, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I was like, no way. It's those two morons sitting down there beating up, pulling each other's glad hands down in the parking lot. I was like, get this shit out of here. I had to fire down, you know what I'm saying? I got you, look. <laughs> Always pleasure with double measure. I love you both. I'm glad to hear you both out, out there doing your thing. Glad David's out making some money. I was getting a little worried about him. 
you know, sitting at home constantly rubbing his Volkswagen bug, I was, I was gonna, I was like, David, you need to go to work, dude. You can only polish that Volkswagen so much. And yeah, here we are. He's on the road and you're on the road. Now what a trip, dude, talking to two BBI built mobiles running down the road in Colorado. That's crazy, dude, this is crazy. Uh, it's like freaking 21 degrees outside over here. A lot of snow in an icy road, no doubt about that, man. Uh, kind of wondering, hey, David, you still got a sloppy copy to break. You guys are keyed together. Go ahead, Alex. Yell at David. Yeah, 410, man. David, I got you up on my noise floor right about now, man. You will see, man. I got the gate rolling, man. And the gate don't lie. Hey, David, always pleasure with double measure. We'll do it again another day, another way, someday, someday, sometime. Appreciate the dinner, and we had a great time. David, take care. I'm not able talking to you anymore, man. Hey, uh, BBI. Hello, BBI. You got it on there, Brega Brega. Yes, my child, what is it? Oh, man. Tell Roger right on, man. One man, one sound. One man, one sound. What's that thing doing just with the radio hitting it? <laughs> Woo, I got you nine pounds, man, nine pounds. Just on the radio. Now, what is the 24 pill doing with just the radio hitting it? Oh, you're asking that. I thought, what's your radio doing up in my radio with just the radio into my radio? <laughs> I don't know, man. Like I said, I'm not seeing a lot of swing. Just the radio into 24. I'm doing uh, somewhere around 600, 700. God, the Hedronite's getting horrible. Alex, drive safe. David, have a good night. I'm going to shut this big old giant power plant down, the Goliath. I'm going to take it offline. I just seen you guys sitting over here talking. I couldn't believe it. I had to fire down and say something. So glad you guys are safe. Glad you had a good dinner. I hope you guys are doing well. Mr. Spaceman. And my good friend, Mr. Mr. Mackey. You guys be good. Drive safe. Keep the greasy side towards the road, and I'll see you in a couple days, Alex. I appreciate that, BBI. You take care on this end. Stay warm around the Northwest while I'm somewhere else, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Always pleasure with double measure. I'll catch you up in a few days. Worldwide, BBI. Worldwide, Spaceman. Got down right there in 1027. Click, click. I'm starting to wonder maybe if I put the antenna in the mobile, if you guys would actually be able to hear me or not. Yeah, jump on, man. I still got the gate rolling, man. We might check it out. I should be. Yeah, David, I heard you, man. I still got you up on my noise floor, no doubt about that, man. Yeah, I got you about one pound, bringing up about six foot up there, audio. And four? Yeah, 410 on King 1, swinging 5 with a good audio. Yeah, I got you like, uh, well, with a the static, there's a lot of static around you when you key down, but it's good enough for communicate, 410. Well, we will get that all cleared up, but that's that important for now. We can't get a big budget, but it's static. No doubt about it. Hey, David, I would call it somewhere around roughly about 20 to 30 air miles, man. Hey, David, 20 to 30 air miles, somewhere right about now. I'm around uh, 340, uh, 345 right here, uh, rolling westbound.
Ten Raja. Hey, uh, take care, David. I'll be standing on by and see if BBI is going to pump it out uh, with his mobile, man. Hey, David, I'm on standby mode. I'll see you. Bye bye. I'm, uh, I'm posting a video of uh, about five minutes of the conversation. Yeah, tag me up in there in, uh, in that video. Hey, tag me in that video the way I can uh, find it easier. I appreciate that. David, no copy, no contact. No copy, no contact. Bye bye. Alright, man. Well, remember, it'd be cool when you still don't push until you get hemorrhoids, man. Catch me later, I'm 